And let's bring in a political affairs analyst, Jude Johnson. He joins us live via Zoom from Lagos. Good to have you join us, Jude Johnson. It's a pleasure to be with you and good afternoon to our viewers all over the world and whatever time zone they are, we, we greet them. All right, so let, let's look at this critically because it, the PDP now seems to be the one in the eye of the storm. But let's not forget that just some days or weeks ago, it was the APC um, battling, you know, also having leadership crisis. I don't think that has also been resolved. Where you have the vice president seems to be on one, on one side and the AGF also on the other side um, in terms of whether May Malabuni can continue to head the Ketika committee. So what do you make of all of this crisis within... Um, the, the leading parties, as it were, the governing and the main opposition. Now, well, it, it shows that something is wrong with our democracy, something is wrong with the party system, because the foundation of representative democracy is the party system. It is the party that sponsors candidates for election and candidates win election from government. So if the parties cannot run themselves, it tells you why the government has been dysfunctional since 1999 to date. You see a situation whereby PDP is bedeviled with crisis, uh, the party is bleeding, governors are leaving the party, um, senators are leaving the party, members of the National Working Committee are resigning and joining the opposition opposition party, and you have not had anything meaningful from the from the national chairman. Meaning, PDP has not provided a meaningful opposition to the ruling party. For us to have a viral, democratic, representative government, there must be an active opposition, but PDP has not provided that with with the leadership of Uche Secondos. And then there is something which is fundamental to our democratic experience since 1999. It, it's, it's sad to note that both parties are controlled. The heart and soul of the party belongs to the governor. These, these are the people that call that cause the shot in this party. And it shouldn't be so. And it's because of the the defects in the in the party system which we have. We have party systems that are formed from the national down to the local, other than from the party evolving from the people from the from the from the world to the national level. So when you have a centralized party system, you see a gladiators battling for the soul. We're in a situation whereby so, candidates elect for House of Assembly, for reps, for Senate and for governors and even for the president will be signed by the national chairman and the national so, secretary. So basically, this is really about um, taking taking the, the, the politics to the grassroots and not from the national yes, level. Uh, and and just, just quickly, I, I want to ask my question because I have a, a, a lot of questions. I'm trying to put them in one because of time. So we okay. understand that this should have created an opportunity for other opposition, opposition parties. I mean, we have tens of them. We, could, we can begin to list them. But we don't see any one of them rising to the occasion to take advantage of what seems to be a crisis within these two main parties and, you know, saying let's take advantage of this and push ourselves out. That's not happening. Um, people are also talking about the two-party system. So I'm just going to try and put this into one. Are we ready for the two-party system with what we are seeing now? Well, and why are we not seeing well, opposition parties take advantage of this? What, what would be good for our democracy is for us to have two-party system. Anything that is more than two is not is good for the top option. Is um, you have you have two hands, you have two eyes, you have two two nose trees, you have a pali lower leaves, you have two ears. Anything that is more than two becomes a wrong choice. And all those other parties you are talking about, they are non-existent. We just had local government election in Lagos State. There were two major parties that participated in that local government election. The third was YPP, and they only presented candidate here and there. The last election, all those other, how many presidential candidates of those parties that existed on the pages of newspaper, how many of them endorsed the 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 APC presidential candidate. I think there are more than 15 parties that endorse them. So those parties only exist on the pages of newspaper. And that's where the role of INEC comes into question. Why would INEC register a party, a party that does not even have a member in the House of Rep? Why should INEC? You can operate at the local level. Because if we don't get the party system right, we will not get the polity right. And if you don't get the polity right, you will not get public administration right. APC is bedeviled with crisis. PDP is bedeviled with crisis. Who are the people that will suffer? It is governors. You have a situation in APC whereby the, the party is being controlled by the governor's caretaker committee. Malabuni was elected to be the governor of Yobe State. He's busy running the party. Tambua is elected to be the governor of Shokoto State. He's doing chairman of governor PDP's forum. They are in Abuja. They, they were in Abuja yesterday. They are still in Abuja till 
today. So Chokoto's governors will be suffering. And that's that's the problem. And that's why INEC needs to come into INEC is meant to register this party, is meant to ensure that this party conform with their constitution. Any party that does not have respect for this constitution cannot have respect for the constitution of Nigeria. Right. Any party that cannot manage this affair cannot manage the country. And we have seen it that from nineteen ninety nine to date, we have been in a vicious cycle, moving from one cycle to the other, and the actors and the players in both parties look. The people in APC are in PDP. Uh, At one point, are they not in PDP? And those in APC today were not there in PDP yesterday. Absolutely. And those in APC today And, and as, as um, 2023 approaches, we are very sure that we're going to see more people, you know, crisscross across parties as they make a play for um, several offices. Thank you so much for talking uh, to us, political affairs analyst Jide Johnson. It's a pleasure. And that's why the parties are.